Today, I want to share an idea that can fundamentally change how we study biology and life itself. Instead of just reading and dissecting DNA, we should be generating it, and we can do this by treating DNA as a language, one that AI can learn to read, write, and ultimately build. In many ways, DNA is like a language. It has grammar, structure, sort of like sentences and paragraphs that group together to form a story. And these stories are passed down through evolution, generation by generation. For humans, it's been hard to comprehend these stories written in DNA, in large part because of its scale. DNA is extremely long, and yet at the same time sensitive to the smallest mistakes. We assembled a team of scientists and AI experts, and gathered the largest collection of DNA used to train AI. 80,000 whole genomes fed into a model that we called Evo. And our goal was to create something like a ChatGPT for DNA, where you can prompt Evo and describe the DNA you want, and it would generate new sequences one letter at a time. And so next, we decided to go for that moonshot to try and generate a whole genome from scratch. And Evo was able to generate hundreds of synthetic proteins in a genome that resembled those in nature, but ultimately, it was missing a few parts. It wasn't yet complete. More like a rough sketch of the genome. However, this this is just the first version. That rough sketch of the genome will become more detailed over time. In fact, within years, we anticipate AI will be able to generate whole functional genomes. In other words, AI will be able to generate new life.